Good morning, everyone. So today is a gorgeous day to be out in the yard, and so I'm gonna do a garden tour. All right. Well, what a beautiful day. Um, irises are in full bloom over there. Sunflowers are getting super tall. I took a risk with them this year. I did plant them a little bit earlier, but I knew it was El Nino year, so we had a much warmer year. Um, all of them survived just fine. Woo, yay. Um, got zin uh, zinnias, amaranth, and a friend of mine's getting that hanging basket tomorrow. Um, and then cosmos, and all my annuals are just flourishing, which is just awesome. Um, planted all the dahlias, got them in. Um, got a bunch of Rebecca, the annual kind. Um, my dwarf lilac is gorgeous. And I love how the um, the creeping thyme and the creeping stars, I think that's what they're called, are blending together. That's just so pretty. Um, so I'm gonna be a little too fast. The Sweet William looks like they're about to start popping. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing that, and my understanding is they smell just amazing. And then I got my yarrow on this side, so. This is the side yard. Um, I'm really loving the fact that this stillbe is just, you know, it's going to town. You know, it's been two years kind of just putting these as they happen, but it all kind of is starting to finally uh, fill out, which is nice. All right, so the rose is just, I mean, I have roses. I will have roses next week, I think. Um, they're just all popping up, uh, coming around the yard. Um, the candy tuff and all the phlox are just flourishing. The um, hydrangeas are, are about to bloom. Rhododendrons are just looking amazing. Um, they have not looked that way before. So this is their full first full year. Um, I think they were kind of on the verge of almost dying at one point but uh, they needed to recover last year and now they're like just and very happy. Uh, the lilies are, well, I planted one I there and apparently maybe two. No, anyway. Uh, snapdragons are just getting tall over there. The fuchsias coming to life. Um, Looks like I lost my bee bomb, but I don't know. You never know. Sometimes some things take just a little bit longer to come into play. Um, some more Snapdragon. Um, coming around here. More Snapdragons. I'm not sure what I did with the stock, but they're all way too short and they're starting to get ready to bloom. So that's kind of sad. I'll have to find short vases to put those in. Um, the rose gardens are the rose garden is doing amazing. Uh, dahlias got attacked by the lovely slugs last yesterday. They did some major damage. I was a little shocked. So there's sluggo everywhere. Um, I thought the uh, um, hazelnuts were doing wonders, and they were until I guess they got around them or something. I'm not sure, but needless to say, uh, there was lots of sluggo put in place. Walking through the side yard, really excited. I'm gonna have roses. I, I can't believe it's May. And I'm gonna have a lot of roses coming into play with before uh, Memorial Day weekend, which is really awesome. I'm also impressed by the lovely clematis, whatever on earth I planted here. I have no idea. I mean, I know it's clematis line, but I don't remember. And I don't know why it's that big. So, hey. Whatever, uh, Lupin is doing amazingly well. Um, so yeah, the backyard looks is very happy. Um, my alum are in bloom, which is just wonderful to see. Uh, I need to start cutting and doing vases. I haven't done vases for a couple, about a week or so, two weeks maybe, um, because it's just been. It's been that point where I just don't have enough to cut, but now I guess I'm at that point. So, um, all right, I guess here comes vase season. So, uh, yay. Bye everybody, take care.